Hello, Chemisphere, and everybody else is here. Good afternoon. I am, um, I told you, I'm going to tell y'all I'm out in this nice breeze, but the video you're about to see is going to contradict probably what I'm about to say, and I don't know how to fix that, but, you know, it, it takes too much energy for me to not speak up. So I chose to speak up again. But what I want y'all to know is, those of you who know me know I come with love. I try to approach everything with love. But then you get these stop signs and these roadblocks and these caution signs and these, these obstacles that kind of stop me from doing that. And then I have to step back into Kim again, little Kim, who don't have no manners and no respect for nothing. Okay, so y'all better off dealing with Kimberly, which is me. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and get into this video. And like I said, it might contradict what I just said. But it, either way, I love y'all. I really, really do. Hello, everybody. It is nice and sunny and it's hot in the house because our power's been off since about 4 o'clock this morning. Literally, it's just been, we just have had no power whatsoever. I took a cold shower because now we don't have hot water with the, uh, what do you call it? With the lights out. And, um, but anyway, I woke up this morning and I was looking through my, you know, my YouTube feed. Now this lady, I blocked a long time ago. So she doesn't come across my feed anymore. So it was interesting that I saw her come across my YouTube feed today. So I went, the title of the video was Passport Grannies. So I click it and I watch a few minutes of it. And, and, and it, it disturbs me to this day that so many black men and so many black women are attacking other black women to the fact that it is absolutely fucking sickening. It's sickening because why? Why do you spend so much energy researching and attacking people who have done absolutely nothing fucking to you whatsoever? Like you can't let people live in peace because you're a miserable ass person. And I really don't give a fuck if you copy this video or not. I didn't hang around and watch her video long enough to see what she was talking about. Um, I did stay long enough to hear her mention Passport Traveler, ES, and KNK Squad. And, and then I got off. I, I just, like she was calling ES a Passport Granny or some shit, which I don't see that, but I don't label people like that. So that you know that i didn't make it my business my my issue is there was a time when we could say that uh there was a time when we could say that uh women were attacking black, black women were attacking black women now it's black men attacking black women it's black women attacking black women like y'all can't find nobody white to attack or just leave people to fuck alone period and i'm not saying go attack white people i'm just saying why why would you attack your own family like why would you attack a person that lives in your house or is from your community or is from your bloodline or is from whatever familiarity that they're from and the, the only thing i can come up with is that these people are sick they are mentally fucking ill and they need to get some fucking help because never ever have I ever gone to somebody's channel. I've said this before and attacked them for no reason. Everybody y'all said saw me attack came for me and I just simply fought back and, and I will fight back again if I choose to. But uh, and then you got the people who are just as fucking miserable on her channel or on these people's channels blue wig smitty green lady whoever you got people sitting on their platforms talking shit with them about somebody that don't none of them fucking know like doesn't don't none of y'all know us at all now y'all attacking inez when inez don't bother nobody what the fuck problem do y'all have with her same thing with me. I never attacked nobody. You just chose to pick me out of the clear blue sky. No, you didn't pick me. What you did was, after I saw Saibi over on your page, you was getting information about me from her. And I'm going to believe that to the day I die, which is what made you come after me. Because you didn't just find me out the clear blue sky. You didn't just pick me out the clear blue sky to pick on me. Somebody was feeding you information about me. But anyway, what I would love to see, just like I said with Kendrick, Kendrick, J. Cole, and um, what do you call it? Drake. 
I would love to see the battle stop. Why why does there have to be a battle? You know, what what oh no, I can't take these off. Why does there even have to be a battle? Lady, green lady, when are you gonna wake up one morning and mind your own fucking business? When are you gonna wake up one morning and 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 say, you know what, I'm too old for this. I'm not gonna do this shit no more. I'm not a, a child. This ain't fucking high school. This is real fucking life. Me, and I'm speaking on me and Inez because I know my story and I know her story because she shared it. You take some type of, you get some type of joy. You and your little fucking minions. Y'all get some type of joy out of laughing at people's struggles. I mean, like really, really, really laughing at and making fun of people's fucking struggles like y'all don't have struggles you have struggles every last one you and everybody that's your follower have struggles um we just don't see your shit on social media because you're either too private or you're not brave enough to show your life it could be either way either you, you're private or you, you're just not brave enough to show your shit but leave us the fuck alone okay i'm not bothering you i don't bother no fucking body I ain't never seen Inez bother nobody. Nobody. But like I said, y'all sit up and bother people because y'all some miserable ass fucking old. Y'all just miserable. You making up shit like I don't have no bra, no bed, no luggage. And who the fuck? Why the fuck is it your business? If I didn't own a bra or bed, I don't have a bra on right now. God bless me. Whether it's whether I have a bra or a bed or no luggage or not, why, why, why did you feel the need to, hello, make a whole video? No, you did like a six-day series about me. And then you were going to have Inez on as a guest, but I kind of think you blew that shit because you allowed your people to make fun of her struggle, which was dead wrong. One thing I don't do on my on my lives and on my chats or anything, I don't let people attack other people we don't do that on my page but you you get a kick out of that shit you get a full motherfucking kick out of that shit why aren't you in the gambia why do you care who's marrying who at what age i don't give a fine fuck if a motherfucker is 29 and first of all for the bitch that said the passport traveler is 70. Bitch, I'm 61 and my husband is 39. I think he 38 or 39. I would have to go back and look at the motherfucking birth certificate. I don't know because I don't give a fuck. I really, really don't. So you can call me 70, 80, or 90, bitch. I'm 61 motherfucking years old. You see this beautiful ass skin? You wish the fuck your skin looked like that when you turn 61 motherfucking years old. Y'all really pissed me off with this stupid ass, dumb ass, YouTube ass, behind the keyboard, gang banging ass bullshit. You peanut butter ass bitches. I cannot stand you motherfuckers. Like, I hate when y'all, when I wake up and feel like I gotta make a video about the bullshit and before y'all say kimberly why are you bringing this shit up because i motherfucking choose to that's why you know stop asking me why am i bringing shit up again and why are you talking about this again like i said what y'all what y'all need to be doing is going to motherfuckers pages and asking why the fuck is they fucking with people don't ask me why i'm choosing to respond to people or make a video talking about people because i fucking choose to period but what y'all need to know see you're smart enough to know if you really do have a master's degree and you really are a teacher's aide or a teacher's assistant, whatever the fuck you are, and, and all your minions and all your followers and Smitty too, what y'all, I know that y'all are smart enough to know that karma is a bitch, you know? And God don't like ugly. He don't like ugly at all. You know, and, and I, I hope and pray that I don't have to address you people again, but I might. And if I choose to, I choose to. And like I said, you can take, I'm not going to, I unblocked all my husband's videos. You want to go over there and take the videos and put them on your channel and make money off of them? Go ahead, help yourself. You're not going to make me run and hide and hide my, hide my videos and that type of shit. You're not going to put me in that space. So I went on my page, if you want to know, and I unblocked the fucking videos. And they were only blocked to keep your nosy ass, your nosy, corrupted, evil ass from using them 
against me. You like, you like to use other people's shit against them, which is sickening as hell. So if y'all not scared, I want to hear in the comments what, 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 what y'all think. Like, this is some sick shit when you got sisters and brothers attacking other sisters. I ain't even seen a video where there was a man or a woman attacking a black man. Hell, I never even seen no video where sister, a black man or a black woman was attacking a white person. I ain't never even seen that. Like, the, all that comes across my feed is black women attacking black women. Black women, women talking shit about black women. Black men addressing black women. Black men addressing black women with so many baby daddies. And black women who ain't got no cars. And It's just sickening. Meanwhile, we don't know y'all's fucking lives. Because like I said, you don't choose to share your life. And the reason why, why you probably choose not to share your motherfucking life, because your, your your life ain't shit. If you can if you can take hours and hours a day researching other people's lives, and then getting on YouTube for two, three, four hours talking shit about a person, you don't have no fucking life to show nobody. You are showing us your life, that, that the fact that your life ain't shit. That's what you're showing us is that your motherfucking life ain't shit. Y'all some sick, sick, sick human beings. Like, really, just just sick. And I, I, can't, I can't even fucking say nothing else. But I do have to put these shades back on. I can't even say shit else because there's nothing else to say. I'm almost fucking speechless. Like, I I can't find no words for you dumb, you dumb ass motherfuckers. I can't find no fucking more words for your ass. I'm, I feel sad for your parents. I feel sad for you whoever paid for you to go to school which is probably financial aid whoever paid for you to go to school to get your fucking master's degree wasted their motherfucking time and money on you you wasted your own time if you're using a master's degree if you really got one then prove that shit put that shit on put that shit on youtube of course you can make one of them up um yeah you wasted your time and money getting a master's degree and whatever the fuck you got it in so Peace and, I don't know what this girl's name is, Peace and something who was on her page. Don't let me catch you back on my page. Please don't let me catch you back on my page and my comments or nothing, bitch. You're going to be blocked until you make another page and come under my page. Because that's what you, that's what y'all do. Y'all just create new pages and shit to show. Y'all so motherfucking interested in my fucking life that y'all will literally go create a new page to come and watch me and follow me and dig all off into my business and shit. Muhammad, did you ever find a check I'm getting? Because I ain't, I don't get no government check, but you said you was going to dig and research and find out what check I was getting from the government. Find it. You ain't found it yet? That was like over two months ago. You haven't found that check yet? Shit. Then you, you, you come and talking shit about me. I go to your page, the Muhammad's, and you're insecure about your life. You're talking about how you were insecure about your life and your fat ass. Because, and I can say that because you didn't said all kind of shit about me. I even went as far as to say you a cute girl. I don't know why you came for me, but for you to be insecure about your life and you come on my page bashing me and talking shit about me is some type of double motherfucking standard. It's some weird shit that you you're insecure about your life, but you choose to attack another woman and try to make another woman feel bad about herself. You ain't gonna never make me feel bad about myself. The Muhammad's and like I said, I don't get no government check. Okay, none. So what I pray is that y'all get y'all shit together. Leave people the fuck alone. You think it's funny what we going through over here? You think it's funny what Inez is going through over here? No, fuck no. Nah. And we know for a goddamn, for sure y'all didn't tell us to come over here. Just don't make us your business at all. And then I learned the new word called grifter. I had never heard that word in my life until this bitch called me a grifter. I had to find out what the word meant. Like, I literally had to start asking questions and Googling shit and trying to figure out what the fuck is a grifter. Anyway, I'm going to get the fuck off here because this ain't going to do nothing with that worse. I'm, I'm very, very irritated with... I, I'm irritated with the fact that you even came across my fucking feed and I have your ass blocked. And 
that YouTube tolerates your shit. Like YouTube lets you bully and harass people. You you do everything under the fucking sun to people that's negative. And YouTube just lets you keep on going with your fucking fair use copyright fucking bullshit. Oh, but you gonna meet your you gonna you gonna you gonna meet yours soon. I ain't gonna go back and forth with your ass because like I said, you are a demonic black ass, demonic ass devil. You are the most diabolical fucking creature I have ever run into. So I ain't gonna go back and forth with you. You can make a comeback video, whatever this video, you can do whatever you wanna do. I ain't gonna give you that kind of energy. This video really wasn't even all about you. It's just about how black men and black women are attacking each other. And your video was the first motherfucking video that came across my feed today, which means you're still talking shit about me. What has ES done to you? Well, what did I do? What did I personally do to you, green lady? What did Inez do to you? Like, what did we do to you personally? Not a motherfucking thing. Not one motherfucking thing. This is a continuation of the video. I'm going to try to do this without my glasses. But the sun is bright. I got off, got done making this video that y'all just watched. And I had a message from one of my sisters. And I was like, what is these people's problem with me? Like, what? why does a person have a problem with you that you don't know and that have never done anything to? And you know what it is? I'm gonna say it out of my mouth. Y'all are jealous. Jealous of what, Miss Kimberly? You don't have shit. You're right, I don't have anything material. But you know what you're jealous of is the light you see around me. You're jealous that I have about 10,000 people who most of them love me and they love my content. 13,000 on TikTok. Most of them love me and love my content. About 6,000 on Facebook. You, you, hate the, you hate this light that God has around me. You hate the fact that I have angels protecting me. Ancestors too. Ha. Huh. You know why I didn't think, I don't think about it, because I don't see jealousy and hatred like y'all do. That's why I can't wrap my mind around it, because it's not a part of my life. But let me tell y'all something I just heard, and I think it's the Saturn retrograde that's coming. And the Saturn retrograde is coming, I could have it wrong. Y'all gonna look it up, y'all look every damn thing else up. It's coming to bring you motherfuckers your karma. It's coming, to, it's coming with karma. See, I don't have to fight y'all. I can sit back and, and the, the good thing about karma is karma will always show you what, why you're getting your ass whooped. It's rare if ever that karma will hit you and you be clueless as to why you're getting a whooping and why you're getting beat up. Oh, you gonna know why. I'm just, I'm, I'm almost tickled. Part of me is tickled or part of me feels bad for y'all because you you have a karmatic, karmatic debt to pay for how you did me. For no fucking reason. And how you starting to fuck with Inez? Lord have mercy. I don't even know if you can get on your knees and pray about it at this point. I really, really don't know what you can do at this point. But do me a favor and leave me the fuck alone. Please. Like I'm begging you in the name of Jesus, in the name of Allah, in the name of God. Leave me alone. Find some don't even find nobody else to pick on girl go and get a job that's related to your fucking master's degree all the rest of y'all i don't look y'all just followers i don't fuck with followers y'all are all followers and you're following the devil you're following satan and you don't realize that like y'all don't realize y'all are so disconnected from god the bible the quran that you can't see that you're following Satan.